My name is Alex Shin. Um, I'm one of the partners at Hashed. Hashed is one of the largest crypto investment arms, company accelerator, educator, uh, community builder based out in South Korea. Uh, I'm based in San Francisco. We have six partners. Uh, what's really interesting about Hashed is we are what you would consider a pure play crypto fund, uh, which means we don't really focus on secondary markets. Uh, we don't come from venture capital or hedge fund backgrounds. Uh, we're all entrepreneurs, all engineering backgrounds, all startup growth guys. So um, we, we evaluate projects across the band, uh, everything from protocols to layer one infrastructure projects, even all the way up to dApps. In general, we believe um, the next generation of Mark Zuckerberg's, Elon Musk's of the world are probably in the blockchain space or are raising the blockchain space. Uh, we want to be able to find them, adopt them, um, help them, uh, and then kind of work together with them. We actually don't want to call it incubation anymore. It used to be that we have good founders and really early ideas and we would have to like jump in bed with them really early. These days, the companies that are reaching out to us for acceleration or for help are, are existing businesses that are unicorns. I don't think we can really incubate a unicorn. So the team, we're calling it growth. Uh, we're hiring a lot of people who are very blockchain savvy, who are very product management growth savvy. The features we look for, uh, whether it's an investment or growth, it's typically the founders. We, we look at a lot of the founders. Uh, you know, do they have previous experience running a team? Right? Have they successfully had an exit before? Have they failed miserably but learned a lot from it before? Right? Are they going to have the type of grit to really go through this process? In general, our strategy hasn't changed too much. Um, if anything, we're spending more time working with founders uh, and investing in less projects. Because now we have this phenomenon where uh, the first big bang of ICOs is over and the people that survived the first wave are looking for more help the second wave. And we want to be able to carry our portfolio through. Uh, and unfortunately, because we're not like Sequoia or Andreessen, right? When we invest, they expect a lot from us. They want meetups, they want conferences, they want conferences. Uh, they want to talk to exchanges, they want to do hackathons, localization. So, uh, unfortunately, we have to be a bit more selective because our team is fairly lean at the moment. Next level could mean a lot of things. Um, I, I have an interesting perspective. This might be different than some of the other partners, and I don't necessarily speak for all of Hashed. Um, I have one foot in San Francisco, you know, the ground of foundational technology. And I have the other foot in South Korea, which is like the most speculative market in the world, right? And we're seeing both move at a very different rate, very different pace. There's a lot of regulatory scare in the U.S. that's really changing the dynamics of that market. Uh, and the retail market in Korea has, has changed a lot as well. I genuinely believe the next major internet protocol um, is, is hard to make and it's not going to suddenly come out of Korea or Japan or Singapore, right? The number of people who can build a new internet protocol are probably in the hundreds and it's pretty hard to find them in Asia. But on the, on the other hand, we have some regional benefits. South Korea is hyper-connected, we're super homogenous, 40% of the population is in one city, and everybody here understands digital assets. So the likelihood for a decentralized app and or service uh, gaining meaningful traction in Korea is much higher. So the real question is, is if we can bridge some of the foundational technology and, and a lot of the go-to-market consumer type projects that we have today, maybe, maybe we can actually have a breakthrough success. We're placing bets kind of across the table. Um, I think there's a lot of Generation 3 blockchain, Gen 3 blockchain projects in the US. Uh, we've put a number of bets on those. Uh, it's really interesting to see researchers at that caliber coming in, like Oasis, Algorand, all these guys. Uh, on the other hand, we've put a lot of the bets into reverse ICOs in Asia. Um, so segment leaders, I think that's pretty important. They are segment leaders already, uh, running a business maybe that's in travel, like Passport, or maybe it's in loyalty points, uh, like Carry. We think they have an opportunity to kind of sneak up into this market. Because at the end of the day, a breakthrough app doesn't have to be 100 million users. It can be 10,000, if it works, it works. Uh, and the users don't necessarily have to understand what blockchain is or what crypto is. Um, they're winning points and they're earning money and they're being rewarded and they're being incentivized. Uh, if we can trigger that, I think that's going to be a new breakthrough for us. If I had to really summarize it down to maybe three points, uh, I think number one, good founders always find a way through. 
right? Even when the waters get rough, even when the project gets tough, they find a way to hold their team together, they find a way to retain great talent and, and, and continue to build, right? There's a lot of distractions in this space. Number two, uh, the level of talent entering blockchain is moving at an exponential rate, right? Like it used to just be two guys in a white paper, like that's clearly over, we're never going to see that stage again. Now it's like big enterprises, right? Now it's like partners from Andreessen and Horowitz coming out to do their own projects, Y Combinators all over this, so that's really exciting. And the last thing is, is there's still an influx, an unlimited amount of money in this space. Um, I don't necessarily think that it's good, right? It does draw a lot of attention, and, and, and you know, our message to project founders is there's good money, and there's just money, right? And if you're just taking just money, uh, I think you're contributing neg negatively to this ecosystem. So those are the three things we notice right now, right? So good teams, better talent, plenty of money in the field.